In this video, I'm going to talk about limiting reactants. Let's start to talk about limiting reactants by this example. Limiting reactant is a reactant it consumes first during the reaction, and after that, reaction stop. So solving the problems for limiting reactant is very similar to regular stoichiometry problem, but there is a difference. Whenever we have the value for both of the reactants, this means we should solve problem by limiting reactants. The easiest way to find limiting reactant is to find mole per coefficient ratio. Limiting reactant, it has lower value for mole coefficient ratio. So let's solve this problem. It says consider the following reaction. Calcium carbonate plus two mole of HCl is producing calcium chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. Question asked to identify the limiting reactant for reaction mixture when we have 20 mole of calcium carbonate and 45 mole of HCl. So to solving this problem, we should find mole per coefficient ratio. As you can see here, the coefficient for calcium carbonate is 1 and for HCl is 2. For calcium carbonate, we have 20 mole and for HCl, we have 45 mole. If I divide this value by their coefficient, then the answer for calcium carbonate will be 20 and the answer for HCl is 22.5. So 20 is lower than 22.5. So calcium carbonate is our limiting reactant in this example. For example two, we have a reaction between chlorine and sodium hydroxide. Question says, which of the reactant is in excess if we start with 30 grams of each reactant. So right now we don't want to find limiting reagent, we want to find the excess one. So always one of the reactant is limiting reactant and another one will be the excess. So we should have mole per coefficient ratio. But here we don't have mole, we have the gram for both of the reactant. So the first step, we should find the mole for each reactant. So the first step, we need to find the mole value for chlorine and for sodium hydroxide. So we have 30 gram Cl2 and Cl2 molar mass is 70.91 gram. So one mole Cl2 is 70.91 gram Cl2. So the answer is equal to 0.42. Also, we need to find mole value for sodium hydroxide and one mole sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 gram. So the answer is equal to 0.75. Right now we have the mole value and then we can find mole per coefficient ratio. Coefficient for Cl2 is 2. So if I divide this number by 2, the answer will be 0.21 for Cl2 and coefficient for sodium hydroxide is 4. So if I divide mole of sodium hydroxide by its coefficient, the answer will be 0.19. So in this reaction, sodium hydroxide is limiting reactant and it runs out first during this reaction. So chlorine will be the excess reactant in this reaction. In question three, it says consider the following reaction. How many moles of water can be produced from a reaction mixture containing 0 0.50 mole H2 and 0 0.30 mole of oxygen? So in this question, we would like to calculate mole of product. And we have value for both reactant. In regular stoichiometry problem, we always have one reactant and then we do calculation based on that. But when we have value for both of reactant, we should perform our calculation based on the limiting reactant. There are two different ways. I'm going to explain both of them in this example. The first way, we should find which one is limiting reactant. For hydrogen, there is 0.5 and for oxygen, there is 0.3 mole. Coefficient for hydrogen is 2, coefficient for oxygen is 1. 
So the ratio for hydrogen is 0.25 and for oxygen is 0.3. So hydrogen is our limiting reactant here. So we should perform calculation based on hydrogen value, not oxygen. So here we have 0.5 mole of H2. Then based on the coefficient for H2 and water, we have 2 mole of hydrogen gas is equal to 2 mole of water. So mole of H2 and mole of H2, they cancel. 2 and 2, they cancel also. So the answer is 0.5 mole of water. So this is one way to calculate product in limiting reactant problems. But there is another way. For second method, we should perform calculation two times. One times based on hydrogen value and one times based on oxygen. And we are going to find out which one has lower answer for the product. That one will be our actual answer. So here for hydrogen, we know two mole of hydrogen is equal to two mole of water. These two, they cancel out. So the answer is 0.5 mole of water when we use hydrogen value for calculation. If I use oxygen value, then one mole of oxygen is equal to two mole of water. So here I should write one mole of O2, two mole of water. Mole of O2 and mole of O2, they cancel out and the answer is 0.6 mole of water so one of the value for water is 0.5 another one is 0.6 always lower answer is the actual answer and from this one we can also find out that hydrogen is limiting reactant because our answer is from hydrogen not from oxygen question four says how many gram of so3 can be produced by Reaction of 8.65 gram sulfur and 13.72 gram oxygen. And we also have the molar mass for sulfur, O2, and SO3. So I would prefer to solve this problem from the second method. So I'm going to perform this calculation two times. One times based on sulfur and one times based on O2. For sulfur, we have 8.65 gram sulfur. Then 32.06 gram sulfur is equal to 1 mole sulfur. Then 2 mole sulfur is equal to 2 mole of SO3. Then this mole of sulfur and also gram of sulfur, they cancel. And 1 mole of SO3 is equal to 80.06 gram SO3. And final answer is equal to 21.6 gram so if we perform calculation based on the sulfur value the amount for product will be 21.6 gram let's find out what is the value for product if we use oxygen in calculation so we have 13.72 gram o2 first we need to convert it to mole so 32 gram o2 is equals to one mole o2 then as you can see here 3 mole of O2 is equal to 2 mole of sulfur trioxide in this reaction. So 3 mole O2, 2 mole SO3. And the last step is converting mole of SO3 to gram of SO3. And final answer is equal to 22.9 gram. So this value is a smaller and this is our actual answer. And based on this calculation, we can find out that sulfur is our limiting reactant in these equations. In question five, we would like to calculate the value for product also, the value for remaining excess reactant. It says how many gram of water can be produced from a reaction mixture containing 1.45 gram of ammonia and 6.2 gram of oxygen. Then it asks also how many gram of excess reactant remains at the end of reaction. Let's see how we can solve this type of problem. First, we should perform the same calculation like the problem number four. We have value for two reactants. For ammonia is 1.45 and for oxygen is 6.2 gram. So we are going to perform this calculation two times to find out which one produced a smaller value for product. 
I'm going to start with ammonia. First, we need to convert it to mole. So 17.03 gram ammonia is one mole ammonia. Then based on this coefficient, four mole ammonia is equal to six mole water. So four mole ammonia, six mole water. And at the end, one mole water is equal to 18.01 gram water and final answer will be 2.30 gram water so this is the value for product when we use ammonia in our calculation let's see the value of product when we use o2 first step 32 gram o2 is equals to one mole o2 then for the next step Based on the coefficient, we can see that 5 mole of O2 is equal to 6 mole of water. So 5 mole O2, 6 mole water. And at the end, we have 1 mole water equals to 18.1 gram water. And final answer is equal to 4.19 gram water. So as you can see here, the value for product when we use O2 is more than the value for product from the first step. So we can say that this is our actual answer and ammonia is limiting reactant in this reaction. Let's see how we can find the answer for second part. For solving the second part, we would like to find how many gram of excess reactant remains at the end of reaction. For solving this type of problem, we should use the value for limiting reactant. So here we have 1.45 gram ammonia and we should find the value for other reactant or for the excess reactant. So we are able to find the actual value in this case. So first step, I need to convert ammonia to mole so 17.03 gram ammonia is equal to one mole ammonia then here we can see that four mole ammonia is equal to five mole o2 so four mole ammonia five mole o2 and at the very end converting mole of o2 to gram of o2 which is 32 gram o2 the answer is equal to 3.4 zero gram o2 so 3.40 gram o2 is the actual value that we need uh, for performing this reaction but we have 6.2 gram o2 in this reaction and if we subtract from the actual value we can have the remaining value for oxygen at the end of reaction which is equals to 2.8 gram o2 as an excess we have at the end of reaction. Thank you for watching this video. To watching more video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.